Hello everybody, here's uh, six quick tips on things that I didn't cover about how to get into Sail Away. Um, yes, that I did not cover in my other things. So number one, music options, audio. You probably want to set the music volume to 0% because music, when you're trying to concentrate, is unhelpful. You can also turn things like the seagulls and the rain down if you find that distracting. You probably want to be able to hear the boat though because hearing your sails is a lot more subtle than looking at them. All right, that's tip number one, turn the music off. Tip number two, difficulty. This is not what you would expect. Options, gameplay, skill level preset, scroll down, expert. Yes, even if you're learning, if you know how to sail a real boat, you are already an expert. If you put things on beginner or auto sail, You'll be trying to do things on the boat and it won't let you because it thinks you're not ready. So you want to be on expert, I would say, and then you've only got yourself to blame when things go wrong and that's how you want it to be. Um, right, music, expert level, right next, learn to sail. Oh yeah, I haven't prepared for this one. So boat. You have all your different boats and they all exist separately, although you can't necessarily always see them. But if you are have two boats going in transatlantic races they both stay you know two different races around the world they both stay there even when you're not playing if if that's how you've got it set up it's not that when you change boat the first boat vanishes and the new boat gets put in underneath you when you switch to another boat you yourself will probably go where your other boat is not the other way around um you have a load of boats here you can create new ones if you don't see what you want there's an option at the end called Add Boat. That's probably what you want. The thing you need to look out for, I think, is that you may be given this boat called Learn to Sail. You don't want that. I think what that is is the Nordic folk boat with no foresail on it. And I think that's why a lot of people have been saying to me, I can't raise the foresail. It's because they're in the Learn to Sail boat, maybe, which doesn't have one. So uh, do not use Learn to Sail. Bad. You want a Nordic folk boat, and if you don't have an, or, or a 38-foot cruiser, or whatever you want. If you don't have what you want, add it. Right, that's boats. Number four. I'm actually going to turn the seagulls off, because they're really annoying. Number four. Travelling with your boats. This is a bit tricky, right? There's two ways to travel in the boat. You can just teleport wherever you want, and that is essentially a one-way ticket. A single ticket, right? So here's my boat. I am in the Azores. I'm going to hold over the map. Let me make the map big so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to hold my mouse over the map, hold down the minus button. You can use the mouse wheel, but this is quicker. Now I'm going to go to Putney and hold point my arrow over Putney, press the plus button, zoom in. It takes a little while for the river to actually appear, so you might have to be patient. In fact, it has not yet appeared for me at all. Am I looking? Yeah, I'm too far up river, that's why. Okay. So if I click here, look, a little plane icon, then I can teleport. That teleport button that I just used, I'm underground. That's not very good. Uh, that teleport button I just used is the one-way travel ticket. But this is the key part, right? Now, if you were to join one of our challenges, you would go activities, challenges, or maybe later one day races. Search for the race, SBSC sometimes take a while. Now if I choose this race in the Azores, I get this little button here called teleport to start and the thing to understand about uh, entering a challenge, well basically see what's happened now is I'm in the challenge and that uh, when the challenge ends I will be returned to where I was when I started it. So if I now teleport to the start this might sometimes not work very well if the uh, if the start is in a narrow body of water or a shallow body of water, or even when you use the manual teleport, sometimes the game will think that you shouldn't be going where you're going and it will put you where it thinks you should go, and that can be miles away. So you sometimes have to fiddle with it. But anyway, look here, I've teleported near the start. That's the start over there. I can still use the manual teleport to get closer to the start line if I want. Don't use this for cheating. Um, but the interesting thing is, right, I'm still in a challenge and I can tell I'm in a challenge because when I go to the menu, instead of being able to choose new challenges, I can only leave the one I'm in. If I press that, do I want to quit the challenge? Yes. What you should find 
is that because the challenge is kind of like a return ticket, hopefully, yes, here I am, the map's not updated, here I am back in London on the Thames. So that's the thing, right? You might not realise, people have said, uh, I thought I teleported somewhere and then suddenly I'm back where I was. The reason for that is when you start a challenge, it remembers where you were when you started and it will put you back when you finish the challenge. So that's what can cause unexplained teleporting. Next problem. We had one person who could only turn their boat left, not right. And the reason for that was this is not very good software. The way to fix that kind of thing, probably, is to go into options, back into gameplay, where we had the difficulty level. Uh, oh, I missed a step out. Oh, we'll get to that. Here you see here, steer to port, A, steer to starboard, D. If these somehow get misset or blanked out, then you're not going to be able to do things. And the way to reset them is if this needs to be D and I want to be sure it's D, click this button, press D on the keyboard. Now it's written it again, and hopefully that will solve problems that you might have with not being able to use the buttons at all. I forgot an important thing. If you don't have a high-powered computer, what you should probably do, go into Options, Video, turn your graphics quality down to zero, untick all of these buttons, and then you should find, although everything will look even uglier than it does normally, Hopefully your computer will have to let work less hard and if you have a low power computer it will be less jerky and more smooth. You can then of course experiment with turning the quality back up um, but if you're not sure or you have an old or a low powered computer you probably want it on the minimum to start with otherwise you'll be all, all over the place like this and you won't be able to sail properly. So do that. Final thing, keep an eye out for warnings. They can be quite subtle. Um, but for example, if I magically turn this boat away from the wind, this boat's at anchor. If I turn this boat to face, not, it's not clear what mechanism is making this work. Uh, but if I turn this boat to face downwind, and then I follow the instructions main halyard, and I try to lift the halyard, ah, it worked. Maybe the wind, I guess the wind is so still today. <laughs> if you're in a strong wind, the game will prevent you from doing things like adjusting the halyard. Um, for example, to raise the sail, it will want you to be facing into the wind. And if you have your sail up and it's fully powered and you're storming along, it's probably not going to let you lower the sail either. Same thing, I had a problem the other day where I was trying to raise the uh, spinnaker and I couldn't because I'd only furled the jib 99% and it has to be 100% furled before you can bring up another mainsail. Otherwise, as far as the game's concerned, you have uh, four sail. Um, otherwise, as far as the game's concerned, you have two four sails up at the same time, and that's not allowed. And it will warn you about that in a tiny little bit of text in the bottom right. So, yeah, sometimes if you cannot do adjust your rigging in the way you want, it might be because you have broken some rule, like there is too much pressure on the sail, or uh, you haven't put away the previous sail in order to bring up the replacement. Okay, I think that's all my beginner tips. There's loads more to say, but those are the basics.